Greetings everyone and welcome back to They Are Billions campaign, where in the last episode we managed to finish off the first, effectively, tutorial mission, though it wasn't on rails, which I which I always approve of, of tutorial missions, it was just probably a lot easier than any of the others are going to be. Now the Hidden Valley has been completed and that's given us access to three new missions. We have spent 120 of our 170 research points on unlocking the soldiers, so they'll be available to us in the next mission. Oops, that's uh, not where I need to click, that's where I need to click. And so we're going to be moving on to the last bunker. Let's go and check out how this goes. This recondite bunker must have been one of the last strongholds to fall, although small of dimensions do not trust you because we sent two soldiers a long time ago to discover their secrets and never returned. In short, uh, it's more dangerous than it looks. All right, now I'm suspecting this is going to be a tactical mission, so we're going to have to play this one carefully. Hyperion, let's have a nice cold pint and wait for all of this to blow over. Ah, uh, yeah. I'd be more interested in a cup of tea, I'll be honest with you. Okay, so. Just tell me. All right. The tactical mission happens in old abandoned fortresses built several centuries ago. In these missions, you use your hero to explore them and get technologies and valuable objects from that era. The hero has to fulfill the mission and get out of the fortress alive. The mission fails if the hero dies. You cannot leave the fortress until you have completed the mission. Okay, well, that's fair enough. You know. Perfect. Succeed or don't come back, basically. Access doors. The hero or any other unit can open doors by interacting on them with the right mouse button. These old doors, once opened, cannot be closed again. Be careful when opening doors because you will alert any potential enemies in the next room or hallway. Nice. Well, we need to go through it, so there's really not much op uh, option. Access to offices. Attention, a red alert has been declared for massive infection. Uh, okay. Can I, can I go through? Is it open? There. There we are. How much damage do I do? Okay, that's not bad. I guess I could just wait for them to move up. Let's see. Uh, no, you're not actually doing that much explosive damage. Though you are knocking them back pretty well. I'll be honest, that's pretty cool. Oh my lord, your voice is going to grow annoying. No, it would have, oh, it would have been quite cool. It, shines. Oh, it does shine. That's marvelous. Okay, so I, all sorts of things. Ah, okay. I can't. I can't assume that anything is part of the just the scenery then I like that uh, yes. but uh, I should have should have let me let me check what your voice is gonna be like before I selected the character Dad. while exploring you will find interesting oh okay uh, so I wasn't as observant as I thought uh, manual various old objects that by picking them up will award you technology and empire points move the mouse cursor over different objects you find if the object lights up and the cursor changes that means the object you can collect the total amount of technology and empire points available in the fortress are displayed in the bottom right corner of the interface Ah, okay, so this isn't just for completing I have to be eagle-eyed. Okay. Although you can leave the fortress without having found all the objects, it is always advisable to gain all of the possible loot. Well, duh. You okay. made my day. Uh, well, I'm what do glad, we have here? I guess. Uh, sure. Yes. Let's have a poke around. Services, attention, rat traps are in place. All right. This is going to be Fun. Okay. Um, Perfect. Let's not walk over that. I've got a funny feeling that that might be dangerous. Great uh, value, empire no points. Doubt. Anything else in here? Nice. No, no, it doesn't look like Come it. On. I don't want to walk over that. I've got a fe funny feeling that's going to be some sort Come of rat on. trap, and it'll kill me. All right then, let's move on. Seriously, regretting my decision based only on All right. the voice acting. Not that the voice acting is bad, it's just For the voice. The <sighs> right, okay. Yes. Let's move forward. For the humans! Okay, I didn't mind that voice acting. Uh, with gusto, I approve. Okay, I'm liking that explosion. Yes. Do I open this? Okay, useful objects. During the mission, you will find many objects and structures in the fortress, such as barriers and explosive barrels that can be used. Oh, I like that. Uh, gain tactical advantages and move forward in the mission. Explore and interact with all of the elements of the scenario and try different tactics to advance the mission. Okay, well, that looks like it'll heal me, so I'm going to wait until I need healing. Thank you. There we go. And pop. Right, okay, good. Okay. Uh, can I use this as like a barricade? No, I can't stand behind it, unfortunately. Anything that would have been quite cool, though. But I'm going to leave that there. Maybe we'll have to open it up later on. Maybe that will actually be some sort of technology or something. Sounds good. Any... <sighs> It could be a trap, but let's here? go. 
amazing. Come this, on! Uh, maybe it's not a trap. Let's, hello? During missions, you may find allied... You, how did you even get in here? Uh, the hero when you approach... Unless you're like 200 years old. In which case, I'm suspecting vampire shenanigans. However, um, we're going to just assume that you snuck in here at some point and then couldn't find your way back out. Uh, once the allies join the heroes, they can be controlled as normal. Only the hero can collect the valuable objects and interact with other objects, such as med kits, switches, and mines. Okay. Commander? Yes. Uh, okay, well, you're going to be Tell on control me. group two. Then I want what? everyone on control group three. Now, does that work? Mm. One, two, three. I can Good. hear yeah. them in the distance. All right. Anything more? Hello. For the humans. No, don't walk up to you, you, you dummies. My lord, please explode. I would like... Yes? Uh, I really would have liked it if you just caused That's that to easy. explode. Can we not do that? Can Perfect. we not make that happen? I really, really, really would like it if we could Come try on. and make this happen. Is that something? Oh, oh right. Okay. Um, how does Those one? Okay. Uh, never mind. You know what? I don't think this is working the way I wanted it. Oh, I probably got to click on attack. All right. Okay. Place uh, object explosive barrel. I uh, got loads right. of objects around here. So let's have a look at them all. But uh, yeah. that was oh. not as obvious to me. Uh, what to do? I was expecting. Uh, uh, you know what? Great. I was expecting to be able. Will you please stop blocking me? Uh, to be able to just explode that, but no. This is nice. Anymore. Uh, whatever this is. Kind of feel a handy. little bit worried about walking around with an explosive barrel on my back. Attention, infection breach detected. Explosives have been used to contain them. Do not enter under any circumstances. Order, sir. Well. Come on. Uh, we're going to place this down there. And then we're going to open the door. And then I'm going to run of away. Of course. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna let them charge us. Maybe we could do a little bit more killing. Or we could let them all group up first. Yeah, let's what? just stand back for now. I'm gonna assume this will work the way I'm thinking. Let's wait for it to happen. I want to test it on this first. Before anything else. It might take us a few moments just to let them break through that, but uh, we should be able to cluster them as a result. And that's what we want. We want a nice big, big old cluster. Of enemies. Hello. Come on then. Anything there we are. More? And let's just see if this works. Silent and Pop. Lethal. There we go. Oh! Well. You've learned something today. Unfortunately, the mission has failed. Review the objectives and conditions of defeat of the mission and try again. Maybe not standing as close to the explosive barrel. I thought it was going to be more like napalm rather than, you know, well, pow, pow, and everyone died. Okay, so we won't be making that mistake again now that we have a better idea of the explosive radius of those bloody barrels. Uh, we blew the first one up. Understood. Just to remove the temptation. And now, with that, we're just going to walk into the room and kill everything the old-fashioned way. With guns! Ah, far, far less likely to explode my own Commander, face off with those. I uh, not entirely unlikely, though. Steve. But still less likely, which is good enough for me. Of course. Ah, right, okay, so... <laughs> my lord, it was going to happen. Let's be honest with ourselves. Uh, I wonder, Orders could I actually Empire? attack that? Um, Q for attack. Those heads are oh. calling I mean, for it, oh, actually, no, it did take a, uh, quite a lot. So th that explosive radius is Any actually orders? quite, quite impressive. I approve. Uh, try not... What on earth is that? It's some sort of... They're just coming... Oh, okay. They're just constantly coming out there. All right. Yes? Well, I would Ready say that you'd you'd be able to deal with that by yourself, honestly. Please, why couldn't you have just walked around the sandbag? I feel like that would have been useful. Any right. orders? Could you patrol this All little right. area? Right, the yes. rest of us are going on. All right, you're going to be number Is two. Okay? You're going to be group three. What? You can just deal with that as it continues to be a problem. All right, could Come you under? move up there? Yes. And we're going to have a look at this. No, 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 yes. no. Ow! Poop. That is not what I wanted to look at. I wanted so to look at that. To do oh, well. Uh, what's it say? Command center. Attention. The command door has fallen. Continue disinfection protocol. Uh, okay, that's a good room, but uh, I feel easy. that maybe. Let's kill the enemies Don't of get the near Empire. that barrel. Now you can, though. You can totally shoot the barrel now and only now. For the Empire. See if it takes that one out. It does. Let's that's go. a 
heck of a range. Wow. Okay, you Come on. continue to uh, investigate that. Really, uh, the vault doesn't have anything cool in it. I feel disappointed. Infected from the outside. Infected people can come from outside the fortress through collapsed walls and holes in the ground. When detecting human activity, more infected will continue to appear from these places. Do not try to kill all of them as they, uh, because they will not stop coming. Get away from them as you can and continue exploring the fortress. Stay away from them to avoid attracting more. In uh, I don't know. We've got, we've got people there. Okay. It. So I don't think it's really that much. Hmm. It should be okay. Good. Uh, we've got. Have we got everything? Looks like we have. Not sure, but okay. let's do it. See, it Tell looks me. like that is Ready not true. It does appear that, in fact, despite the claims of there being billions there, Commander? I have wiped yes? them all out. Oh, well. What? Uh, let's get in Before the command the center then. We've still got quite a lot that we yes. need to do. Um, so, we've still got an, the the main For mission the objectives. Empire. To get and quite a lot of more points. We've got a med kit over there as well, which would be quite nice. Anything else down here? We want to clear Lord out the room Emperor. before we do anything. Else. Okay, that's probably the mission objective. Uh, let's see what we can do first. Any explosive barrels around here that I need to be aware of? None that I can see so far. But these guns are attracting a lot of attention. Okay, that explosive gun though. Wow, so good. So very good. glad that that isn't exploding as a consequence. But the. Uh, could we sit in on this seminar? Uh, could we just run the reel? Oh no, it's it's uh, clearly the tape is broken. That's a shame. I feel that we could have gotten some useful old world knowledge here. That would have been very good. Are you like dressed as a scientist? Because that would be pretty cool if you were. Uh, no, I think you're just dressed as an office worker, actually. But uh, oh well. Still, that was pretty cool. Ready. Uh, right. My service. group of regular guardsmen. Could you please come hither? Uh, oh, it does seem that they've they've been wandering through, so... Oh, man, they broke my stuff. Well, you guys Come just on. patrol there. And we'll allow... Orders from the Empire? ...main unit to have a quick Great. gander around. Grab what they can. And then... Oh, see, that looks amazing. That's easy. And then we will head back out, it seems. I could leave the soldiers here. Guarding our retreat, but that seems a little bit unfair to them, maybe. I don't think it's necessary. All right. Uh, we've got another 60 points to the get, the uh, 40 points, it's another 20 points. Is this it? It oh, is in fact. Amazing. Excellent. Uh, do we actually need the med kit? You know what, let's just use it anyway, just to see. What, it probably is just Wonderful. a med kit. Did that heal anyone? No. Okay, so For it's probably the proximate. The people around me will get the heal. I wonder if we leave with the soldiers, whether that is going to uh, result in us. The more Being the uh, better off I in the f future it. missions, maybe we'll have them with us. We'll have to see, I think. Come on. Well, that was a very, very short mission, I've got to be honest. Unless Just something else opens up. What? We'll All have right. a watch. The Make sure you use... Oh, you're actually begun. carrying it. Oh, fantastic. Wonderful. Did everyone get healed? You did. Ah, truly glorious. I approve. Now, will you get level ups from this? Because it has... Mentioned level ups, so Sounds good. That you, well, you have levels. I do uh, like the fact that everyone else is, you know, uh, marching. You know, just walking with purpose. Commander, let's grab that. Uh, uh, Tell me. Out of the way, peons. Let's go. Those who do not work with purpose well, do not get in the way, please. All right. There we are. And I think that's going to be us for this mission. That was a very sm short one, but again, it's probably uh, the tutorial equivalent for the tactical missions. We still died in it, let's be honest. Uh, have you left? Can we leave? There we are. Hooray! One retry, minus 10%. Well, it's going to happen occasionally, let's be honest. There we go. Not too bad, though. Uh, soul Taker, uh, uh, something or other. Okay. That it? It does appear to be it. Uh, do we have a level? Oh, we do. Okay. I'm going to give you aim. Uh, attack damage plus 40%. Uh, more life. More attack speed. More speed. Um, I'm going to go for attack speed, I think. We've also got a, news, a newspaper of some sort. Mega cities now house 99% of the world population. Year 2085. 
Okay. With a growing world population with more than 80 billion people, modern technological advances have given rise to life in mega metropolises. A recent study conducted by the Mega York Urban Institute indicates that citizens feel safer and more satisfied living amongst large communities. Attila Ernak, head of anthropology and human behaviour, goes on to say, Never in the history of human civilization has there been an age as prosperous as today's. He attributes two factors to the steep influx of urban living. First, technological developments have given re residents an increase in personal security. And second, living in cities, particularly city centres, offers an abundance of all of the basic necessities of life. Food, water and shelter. Okay. Now, that's actually pretty cool. We're, we're getting news from the old world. I like that. I, I like that a lot. Uh, what is the year now? 2261. When was this again? 2085. Yeah, okay. So about 200 years ago. Uh, very well. Now then. Expert workshops allows researching for complex structures made of wood. Ooh. Oh, see, this would be so good. Medium level dwellings for the colonists. Colonists provide gold and workers for the colony. I, but I really wanted this. So badly. Mechanized storage. Expands the maximum storage capacity of resources and gold. It also increases the resource production. Okay, well let's have a look at this. Hmm. It would give us the wood workshop. Would that allow us to unlock these items? See, no, we, we need to get the barricades. I'm going to go for that. There we go. Barricades are one of the first trap defenses. Sets a sp uh, st uh, set stakes traps that will cause damage to enemies and will make them walk slowly. And you can just have rows of these outside. You can litter the area outside with them. And that has a very, very big effect on uh, on your enemy's ability to get to the walls, much less break them. So I think that is by far the better option for us. Okay, so now Hunter's Meadow. This one wants a very large population. We'll come back to that one when we can make medium cottages. This one needs a, only a moderately large population. Destroy all the Doom Fortresses. Uh, I mean, okay. Let's see what we can do. If you look like the infected and call yourself Bill Murray, they will... You will <laughs> I approve. Uh, I approve. Okay, then. Let's have a look around here. We're right at the bottom, so let's just check out this little area, because it's probably fine. Okay, so with that, we know that we're safe in that direction. Uh, very well. We want some workers first and foremost so let's get a couple of these down oh, uh i'm gonna go gotcha. this better be good one over here just to peek around whilst you patrol in this direction Sounds interesting. For me. it could be worse right. i just want to find out where what? the borders are of our little area over here yeah uh, okay that's you are gonna not paint terrible this, right? i hope Attention. you're not wasting my time Building completed. okay good and we are going to want some a new task. Uh, food and indeed resource production pretty pretty soon actually so hunter's cottage where could we place this would get us a decent amount 15 around there that seems 16 no no just 15 okay that's fine we'll go with that are you sure there we are and yes, you can me. make your way get down we need to get a, a kind of perimeter great Ooh. okay a little lamppost there what? Probably direct us to Narnia. Uh, we also want a sawmill ASAP. Got seven. That is not a lot. Ten down there. Twelve. Twelve will do. Go with twelve for now. What do you want now? Right, okay. Group. I do tap? need you to stay on patrol Are you sure? in this area this while the, the, uh, the group down oh. here Building. can here we go move again. What do you want now? over here. Until we've got a bit more of a... Of, um, an idea of the dimensions of our little camp. We could spend some wood to make it a first fortified little area. And that might not be a bad idea, honestly. Um, we are going to need to expand out our energy production first. And we're going to need some gold for that. So, okay, we're going to be waiting on that one. Uh, let's leave a little path around these buildings. There we go. A new task. Now, this is going to be a little bit uh, cumbersome there. Have we got any kind of hordes on the way? No, we've just got the Doom Towns over here and the train, you know, occasionally annoying all of the uh, the Doom Towns by killing things. We've got um, probably a nice fertile field over in that direction there. 
This better that be good. we would it's like to get to. Great. There we are. Let's get everyone dropped off here. What do you want now? We've got to try and find some choke points that what? we can use to uh, improve our defenses, basically. That has got to be the uh, first order of business. Uh, we'll pop this one down here and expand out in that direction a little bit more. And one over here by the by the tree. Again, making use of the fact that I couldn't put anything there normally anyway. We're not going to be able to have like a, a nice big 2x2 two two because the tree is something that I can't seem to get rid of as far as I'm aware. Yeah. Right, do you want to push out a little bit further? Just so we've got a bit Great. of a better sight of any potential enemies creeping in toward us. You call now, we don't know if we're going to have any uh, swarms on this one, but we probably are. Oh, Let's be orders. perfectly honest Attention. with ourselves there. Right, so we've got the basics down. Attention. I would like Building two complete. over here, two there, so we we'll probably drop down. Well... Honestly, no. Let's let's go ahead and have a little inner wall. It'll be our, our keep. The keep what? will be enclosed. Great. We'll build like a castle. I think that seems quite fair to me. And then if we take that all the way up there, see? You little little scallywags are right? creeping in already. Uh, so Aren't draw... Well, about kill it? this one and then Roger draw that. back up. You again. Uh, let's just make sure, because they are, they are starting to, to be attracted to this all the dead. Be good. So we want to get this group up there. Just do a little bit of a clean-up. On the uh, on the edges, then we should be good. Please don't break my gate. There we are. That's fine. Uh, right next up, we want some more. Oh, that see, there's already some scallywags making their way through. What do you want? We need now? you over here right now, please. And thank you. Let's get you down there, quick as you can, and just remove that one. Oh, I right, need you over here. Orders. This wall should uh, isolate that side for are now. Sure? Again, they can attack from any direction, so it and makes. Initial protection. Okay. Just a little tiny bit harder. Oh, right, I want orders. you down here just patrolling this gotcha. area since this is a reasonably good yes. little area for us to, to guard. Than my bow. Right, uh, we are going to need more food is the next thing on our list. We don't have a lot of ways of getting it right now. 14, we can got a 15 there. Um, no, I'm fine with popping down a 15 just in there. Maybe a 15 around here. Sure, we'll pop a 15 there as well. I'll get us a little bit. All right, oh, let's uh, continue orders. cleaning up. And while all of that's going on, I'm going to continue building out these walls. We're going to have... Uh, let's have this go up and around, just, just to make me feel a little bit more secure. One, two, and then we want a, a bit of a gap. So this will be a third position right there. Once we've got this tiny little layer, I don't know and I'm losing some space as a result of this. I am I am sacrificing certain things. But overall, I will feel a bit uh, more secure having the keep enclosed as it would be. Uh, there we go. And we can drop down a couple more houses at this point. So there we go. This will be our main little area. So we kind of want uh, a, a little bit of all of the things we're going to need down here uh, represented. So probably have one, at least, of uh, the potential uh, uh, military academies. But we are going to have to get the stone, which is over there. So we are going to definitely be building out in that direction gotcha. with time. Attention. Okay. Can, uh, Let's get back do this. there. Attention. Right, we get down Building some more food complete. as well whilst we can. Anything around here possible? We can get an 18 over there. Is there a potential for more? 19? Just outside of my build radius, I am absolutely okay with uh, expanding out enough to get that. Let's pop that in. There we go. And start bringing our walls down on that side, I think. Something along these lines. We'll have a gate somewhere around here. So a little gate there, perhaps. And that will give us yes. easy access then from that direction as well. And at that point... We can be a lot more aggressive with our, our military units. Send them out a little bit more uh, freely gotcha. to wipe out the potential zone. <laughs> right there, because we can't see. Uh, we we don't have perfect vision. There is a fog of war in this game, so bear that in mind, because that could have been a real big problem for us if we'd allowed that to happen. I am going to need to put a little bit of uh, wood there as well, because that is a bit of a, okay. uh, a breach right there. I believe they can attack diagonally. I think we've even seen 
instances of that, so we want to avoid it where possible. Uh, 16 wood. Ooh. The train has arrived yes, please. The station. That would be very, very nice. Uh, we've got 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh, yes, please. I accept. 20 wood. Good enough. I, I think. There we go. Right, so that northern area oh, is now great. protected. And we've got someone basically patrolling down here. Okay, it's this is a little, looks like it might actually uh, be cut off. That would be fantastic. There's some iron over there, which What's I believe that? we're going to need for our soldiers, if I okay. uh, recall correctly. There we are. You are going to pay me for this, is right? This, okay, so this is potentially so an area sorry. that we're going to see Last some zombies uh, invading from, Attention. which is something we're going to have to be aware of, but shouldn't be too terribly bad for the time being. Uh, I would like to add in, well, honestly, I would like to get uh, some more uh, what? resource buildings on that yeah. side. But we need to build out over here. So maybe what I could do is just bring the wall down or around. We'll just have uh, a couple more um, houses over here, or at least a little block of them just in there. And uh, that should be fine for now. And then this can just cut down across here. We could even leave enough room for another gate, if I particularly want to. That way, our units don't have to walk out over the railway, because we've all seen what happens when okay. that, uh, when you have to access a gate over rail tracks. If anyone yeah. has watched my Factorio series, yeah, Attention. not great Building times. Completed. Right there, pop that in there, and then just finish it off, and there we go. We've got an enclosed keep. And I would like you, at this point, to our forces are in danger. Uh, this better be back. good. Actually, what? That's what I would you like. Are gonna pay me now, as a price. group, Great. we should be able to be a little bit more aggressive. Now we've got enough potential defenses here to be able to hold this area. I would say. Oh, more right. orders. Let's have a look. We can peek in there. We do want to expand out there eventually, but right now the main area of expansion is going to be the stone. We have to secure the stone supply. Uh, to that end, let's go ahead and build out some Tesla towers. Now these are initially going to be external yeah. to our defenses, and that is a problem, uh, but should hopefully be okay. We'll probably build out some sort of wooden defense around here in a bit of a, a T, and then up there into that woods, and then across there as well to uh, completely isolate these resources. Great. Uh, again, it what looks like there are plenty of areas off the edge of the map where we're going to oh, see wanderers more coming more. in. So we are going to need to protect. Uh, it did mention in the uh, in the brief of the mission that we are going to see uh, wandering to uh, spawns dropping in here and there. Are you going to be okay? You are tap. just okay. So that's all right then. Uh, there we are. We do need definitely to get some... Uh, uh, oh, there we go. You say, Let's get over there. As long as you pay. I probably should leave someone over here, honestly. Uh, that wall should hold, but if it doesn't, then we've already okay, lost this mission. And uh, no, we are okay. But one thick wall's probably right. not good enough, station. honestly. There we go. Let's take them out as quickly as we can now. There we are. And, yeah, probably going to want a couple of uh, of defenders here permanently. Or at least one or two. You again. Okay. Uh, let's get you inside, and then you can remain as good one. Gotcha. And wander up in that direction. You, you gonna pay me for this, can right? instead wander down here. I sure? was being a bit cheeky, hoping that I could get away with not having to uh, yes. assign any of my, my, uh, my units arrows. to that permanently. But yeah, we're gonna see constant, uh, constant approach, I imagine. So we you need to prepare for that. For this, right? Back and then yeah. forward again. Now we've got a little bit of distance there. Is everyone okay in terms of health? A new task. Yeah, and actually we're starting to get close to some veterancies as well. So once we've got those, Great. we're going to be able to push forward you a little bit more. Pay me for this, right? That would be a good place for a wall though. And uh, another gate, perhaps around here. That what? should make this little area a bit easier for are us to sure? hold. Uh, I would gonna pay really like this, you to right? draw back because... Gotcha. Uh, it's no point what in letting you just tank you hit. You're, you are rangers, ultimately not you soldiers. Again. Uh, that being said, yes. getting that iron supply is going to be important strictly it's for the soldiers. Soldiers are okay. much more tanky, though that's Straight not really why you want to use it. Honestly, it's just they've got a good weapon for defense, what? where you don't care about sound. Yeah. Archers are fantastic My because they are quiet, and that is one of the big this, right? advantages gotcha. that they have over soldiers. Right? They, their weapons yeah. draw infected 
in a larger okay, group. Um, whereas the archers can quite, quite silently wipe out quite a lot of, uh, of enemies without drawing in any additional uh, interest from the surrounding uh, Zeds that are present there. Soldiers will draw them from increasingly large areas, which can be a bit of a problem. Okay, yeah. I need you to draw back. We're going to be microing them, at least up until they've got a couple of first levels of veterancy. Now, we've uh, stockpiled a decent amount of resources there. Uh, we do not have a crazy amount of food, uh, and nor do we have a crazy amount of energy, which is actually kind of a problem. Uh, so we're going to pop this one down there, and that should help us out with that quite a lot. Okay, now, we're actually reasonably close to the Doom area, which is kind of scary, honestly. What? Uh, how are we going to isolate this? I think going up and around like that would probably be fine for now. We just need to get that little bit there. And there's our veteran doing veteran yes. stuff. Excellent. Okay. Now, I do need you to be down here right away. Because I can't just wait for you to defend. Because, unfortunately, this will get wiped out. And then uh, we'll have... Great. A problem with uh, Zeds just creeping in there. To bother. Uh, could you draw back? There we My go. Bow we take is them up. Ready. And then, oh, fantastic. Two veterans. This is veterans. good, good news for us. Uh, let's go ahead and take you over there. Right. In terms of expansion, we could pop down another sawmill just because we can. 11, 14, 17. Uh, I think 14 is probably going to be the best that we can get. And we'll pop it in there. Uh, okay, also some extra food would not go amiss. Let's try and get that in 15 there. Pretty good. Yep, I'm okay with that. Alright, so we are going to want to expand out our network of power as much as we can towards this. I'm going to say that we want the quarry right about there. You are going to pay me for so this, right? pop you over there. Yes. Getting the quarry first is, generally speaking, going to be the better option. Because having the quarry... Really? Can I not place that there? Why not? What is the issue? Oh, it's a sawmill. That's why. Uh, but having the quarry first means that we can at least make more rangers. Having the iron would allow us to make soldiers, but we'd still need the stone to be able to build the the uh, military building first. So it's just a, just a matter of the, the order in which you want to build these things. Uh, right. We could, if I want to, start building this up in that direction. I, I think that'll be fine. Uh, let's go ahead and plonk this down right there to expand things. Uh, actually, no, we're going to play, place it here so I can expand up and then around. Probably going to take what? it all the way down gotcha. to that corner there. Yes, tell me. But again, we are going to see enemies creeping okay. through on this let's side. And that is going to continually That's be a problem building until building. we have... Okay. The uh, quarry setup. Oh, that is not good. You turned the corner okay. and we're immediately being attacked. Not good you times. Uh, <laughs> keeping you alive is going to cost me. I don't think you understand the uh, the implications of that. The train has right, there we the go. Station. Let's go ahead and place Building down completed. a gate. I'm going to say... Sure, we can place the gate right up against the quarry if we want. I'm not sure if that is completely isolated or not. In fact, I'm going to place this there just so we've got a little bit more room around here. Are we okay? Yeah, we should be. That shouldn't be what? much of an Roger issue that. for us. So with that in position, let's go ahead and start building this up. There's no free area to build there. That's fine. And we can start getting the gatehouse in position on this you side. There we are. This, right? Again, I would like some sort of T-junction up on that That's side of walls. Just because it seems like it would be a, a decent location to have that uh, set up. There we go. And continue to draw this out. If we can get it all the way up there, then that will be quite well for me, I think. And then somewhere down there. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get another one. Another Tesla Tower in position. Right there will do. And then probably... Oh, oh, pull back. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, that was, that was not fast enough. Not nearly fast I enough. Keep drawing back. In fact, you please draw back further. Oh no! What? Well, that was just annoying. A new task. <sighs> okay, you all need. No, 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 no! Run right? away! <laughs> Run away! Running away involves not being what? where the danger is anymore. They are attacking the colony defenses. That's fine. They can okay. attack the defenses. Just don't, don't attack the buildings. Is all I ask. Oh, that was that was that was uh, that was potentially very very bad. Uh, but we managed to get through it. Okay. 
And from this point, we should be able to build out in both directions. We could put a little gate there. I don't think we're going to, though. Um, well, actually, no, we probably should. The gate would uh, be very useful to give us access to this side, but I'm going to have to wait for the Tessa Tower to be built first. Let's just pop that gate in place. There we go. Oh, and you guys can ex again. Oh, no. What? Well, that okay. didn't work as it's well as I'd hoped. Attention. Thankfully, we did Building notice it in time, though. What's up? Any infected around? There we go. A new task. Let's go ahead and pop that back down. In fact, we could double those walls as well. Uh, we could do that in most locations. Uh, but uh, that, was a, bit, that place, was a bit right? painful, letting that happen. But while all of that's going down, we can now build our first soldiers barrack. And with that, we'll start making as many rangers as we can initially, but then we'll move on to soldiers as soon as we're able. Let's get that into position. And then some more walls on this side. There we go. And another level of veterancy. Perfect. Right, that is good there. Now if we draw that all the way across, and we should be yes. in a fairly good position. Uh, being how heavily they're being attacked. Not you that heavily, and you're also right? getting close to your first level of veterancy as well. Aren't there other units to bother? There we go. That should be fine. Is there Any anything attack? else down here? I think we've cleared this out, you except for the odd Roger wanderer that. at this point. So with that, right. I'm you're going to tell my right? veterans, or yeah. one of my veterans, to peel off and just get, patrol this area from now on. I think that would be uh, be fine. We do need another Tesla Tower over here to complete this level of defenses, though. Uh, so right there will do most of the work we need, but I do need it to be a Attention. little bit further up, so Building we'll pop completed. it in there. There we oh, go. We right, go let's draw back, and finally, we're actually going to make use of these. Uh, I need one yes, of you down here me. right now. But be quick. There we are. Uh, on that note, you I actually don't need you okay. moving around anymore. I can have you stay up there and just guard from this position. What? That should Great. all work fairly well. Now that we've got all of these in position, uh, let's have lots of rangers being made. This will be our, the main bulk of our army, with soldiers and veteran oh, rangers forming the bulk of our defense forces. Let's uh, repair all of the walls as well. And draw this out to... Well, sure, we'll bring it all the way up to... Ah, now, that might be a bit of a problem. I'm not sure how it's going to deal with having this over there. Oh, no, it did. Huh. Still, I think I would prefer it there because I may be able to build better walls here. My no, 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 no. That's a bit of a shame, ready. but okay. Uh, that's fine then. And we'll just draw that down there. There we are. That is now that's isolated this around. little area. Let's get you in there. Uh, that is becoming you a bit again. of a problem. So you can go over there and join them. Uh, we should be okay. I may double wall that though. Just to, to uh, be on the safe side. Any infected around? I think that probably would be a wise move. Uh, let's get you out of there. My Where is my elite unit? There we go. Go ahead and unload. Oh, right, you're going to go out and get some veterancy, hopefully. And I'm actually going to have another one of my uh, elites moving in there. There we go. And with that, since this is currently a bit of a focus of their attacks, even though I don't intend to, to have this sticking around for too long, I would like to double thick that wall. What? We can always pull them down later My if God, the need be. Uh, furthermore, let's go ahead and build up our first defense tower down here. Right there. Now this does give us a much better range, so we'll be able to engage our enemies what? from much further out. Uh, let's bring everyone yeah. back down. This will give us a full group of four. That's been a long while since we've had that. Uh, while we're going, though, let's continue to expand out our residences where we can. I should have been more on the ball you, with that, honestly. You order, you uh, might and let's and get everyone down there. As well. There we go. Right, we're out of workers once again, so we are going to need to expand out our food supply wherever we're able. Uh, we can actually squeeze one in over here, which is quite nice. Sure. Let's just uh, pop Building that one in completed. there. There we go. We, and you have noticed that we can actually just place them down to make use of the the meadows. That is completely and okay. You again. Let's get you up there. And that'll give you a decent view My over the gate, which is all I really need there. 
And with that done, we should be okay. Now, as I've mentioned, it doesn't like it when you double thick walls, so you do have to build in a bit of a, an odd way around areas like that, but uh, should overall be okay. Right then, that gives us a couple more units uh, capacity. But for the time being, let's just get our rangers out there just clearing up. We don't want to get too close to the doom. Uh, the Doom City, but I'm just going to get out to about here, then peel back, and then we're going to set up a defense around there and isolate that iron. I think that's going to be the uh, next big thing for us. And we've got a new level of efficiency already. That is pretty amazing. Well done, you. Uh, Hunter's Cottages, just every now and then, would not be bad. Hopefully not. Uh, maybe, yes, you are, actually. Let's keep you back for now. There you, you are go. Gonna pay me for this, right? Draw back just a little bit, please. And then creep forward again. What? We'll get uh, these two up this to join you, just so that I can help out. But yes, you can you can build the hunter's cottages all over the place, realistically speaking, because they can uh, gather uh, from meadows as well, which is very, very useful. If we can pop it in there, we'll get 14, because we're also gathering from the tree That's line too. Which is particularly nice. This, right? right. We are getting a little bit high up the map now for my liking. Yeah. Let's draw back. We'll just right. clear out this little area yeah. here and then we're going to peel back across and we should be okay. Gotcha. Draw back. Thank you. Let me put an arrow in his and head. Yeah, Let's please do. Right Fast. The Great. There we are. I'm probably going to swap out that veteran though. We'll get another tower down here just by the Tessa tower. Building complete. There we go. That veteran can swoop back and help and to defend the city, okay. because we are going to have a little bit more to defend in this area over here that I am going to have to be very aware of, because that is currently completely undefended. That is not something you want to, to allow to uh, persist for over long. Right, okay, you can up? hop up there. Any we'll take around? our veteran. Yes. That is not our veteran. What? There we go. Let's get you down okay. here. And you can hold this position. Honestly, we're going to see more enemies coming through this tower than than this one, I should imagine. But it's probably wise to have at least one tower at, at most choke points. And definitely anywhere that we've got uh, a gate is almost, um, almost guaranteed going to see some action all the time. Right, let's start building out our Tessa Towers up in this direction get over there we're probably going to be in a fairly good position um i'm actually going to drop one there just so we push up then we'll add one in just around there i think what do you want now okay I mean, let's get you back down here we want to put another gate around this area uh that one can be fairly heavily defended i imagine uh this one i'm not sure that we're going to need as much Defense, but we probably should prepare for it anyway. What do you want now? There we go. Let's get you there. Perfect. And with that, we can build the next one right in there. And that's going to give us quite a lot of uh, of expansion here. We'll probably be able to get another one in there just down there if we really wanted to, but we don't need to. We can part it there instead. What? Right. Gotcha. Let's uh, expand out now. We've got probably some very very fertile fields at the top there that we definitely need to get to. And reasonably quickly at that. Let's keep uh, making more and more units. Actually, at this point, I would like our army to be deployed over here, so I don't have to worry about sending someone back there to protect it. Okay, that's a Doom City. Right there. Or at least I'm fairly certain it is. Yeah, I'm fairly certain that's a Doom City. We're going to need to be guarded about this. Uh, about our approach then I in hope that you're not case. My time. We definitely want soldiers. Right, let's pop down a gatehouse right there. And build up a little bit of extra protection. Oh dear. What? That is you what happens when they manage to hit you a building. Can. It just erupts into more impact. Oh well. It is something that happens. I'm so sorry all the workers what? who just died there. It wasn't my intention for you to die. Great. Well, obviously. You are gonna Let's pay get me you for this, back right? over here, Roger that. and you guys what? can just hold this position. We should be able to repair it. It'll take time, but uh, it's fine for now. And as we push forward, of course, we are going to get to a point where 
we no longer need this defense. And we'll we'll empty in fact we'll we'll empty them out now, I think. Unload all units over here, please. Uh, that is gonna be a better location to defend from. In fact, time. there's two veterans two here. So one can go over there, and that is and still a uh, a forward um, defense point. Uh, we don't need all of these people here, but we'll have you moving up gotcha. anyway, and I'll just get you to patrol this little Better area over there. That should be fine. From okay, there, we'll sure be able to then prepare for our, our push. Uh, right, so another defense tower there I think would be grand. And at this point, we're going to want to quarry over here. Now, what do we lack? We lack energy at this stage. My bow and well, ready. we should be able to pop down a mill right about there. In fact, we can pop mills all over the place. Uh, this, uh, at this point, we've got lots of available um, area. And because of the hunting again, we're going to have loads of food coming in. So, yeah, we're just waiting on the mill. And honestly, we should probably go ahead and build a second one as well. Uh, we are going to need more workers for that one, though, because we've Why? been using a lot of our workers for our army. Great. Okay, well, that, that is going to be a bit of a oh, bit of a, a thorn again. on my side, but that's fine for now, I suppose. Okay, well, we're going to need to build out our homes, and I'm thinking this little area it is fine for it. Also, of course, down here as well. Uh, we've not got anything else. Now that we've got the Hunter's Cottages in position, we can just build that's homes build anywhere else it. that we can fit them. Uh, that seems fair. Let's uh, get these out. There we go. And down there as well. No, unfortunately not. We are out of food now. Well, that is a problem that I can very easily fix. Uh, sure, let's pop one there for the 11. Now, we could go for the 12 here, or possibly for much higher if we can nestle this into the, the tree line like that. There we go. Uh, likewise, over on this side, uh, another 11 position there, that sh that's fine. Down here, we've got some really lovely ones, but we can't quite get them built in those positions. That's okay, I suppose. Uh, one there. Well, we are dropping these a little bit higgledy-piggledy. And that does not lend itself to particularly uh, good expansion options, but uh, for, or rather building options, still, I think it's fine for the time being. Right, let's get the last little bits Building of energy completed. just spread out. Attention. I think one there will Building do. Completed. And then finally, Attention. we're going to want our quarry either there or there, I'm going to say, for the uh, best iron yield. Right. We don't need you over there. You can come right. over here and protect this wall. Uh, actually, that said, okay. you, can, you can stay over here. Uh, and we'll eventually build something there for you. Right, we've got a couple of houses now, and we want a few more down on this side as well. There we go. Mm, that actually is not a good connection there. Let's leave that way. That should be fine. Uh, right, okay, so we've filled in a couple of the workers. We haven't got a huge amount of them available, but we've got enough. So, can we fit that one in there? Yeah, five there, five there as well. Okay, we'll pop it in there, I think. And with that, we should be in a position to... Oh, that is a... Ah, that's very interesting. We can't take it any further than that. Okay. I'm still going to place this in, but we are going to build up our defensive gate about here, then, in that case. That way we can have double what thick walls and possibly even two towers to defend from this location because we may even see some some swarms coming from this direction if we're Better not particularly good. lucky right with the iron going up we should be able to start looking at building soldiers and that's really where our defenses are going to start shining uh sure well Attention. no i don't want to place that one too close Attention. Because it would uh, affect where I could put a tower then. I do want another tower to defend that location. There we are. But with that done, I can place down a tower here. And then flesh out these defenses. Double thick walls, please. Oops, that is in the wrong place. Let's get rid of you if I can. That one would have obscured the gate itself. Which is not exactly what I want. I mean, it's not terrible. Having gates you can't get through, eh, What's you know, if you're not intended to go in that direction, doesn't seem so bad. But I do intend to go in that direction, so 
we probably should try to avoid it. This better be good. Right, there we go. Not exactly the best design. Again, the the double the the triple thick walls um, rule does come a cropper in odd ways, um, but it should be overall okay. Let's pop that one there. And the reason why I'm doing that is to place in another gate. If I can, can I not? Too many wall tiles. Hmm. Well, let's get rid of you then, and possibly even get rid of you. Again, like I said, it does make for some odd decisions in how you can place these uh, these gates. Nope, still not able to place it down. It's quite frustrating trying to work out what it's complaining about. Okay, well, that will do for me, I guess. <laughs> it's a bit of a, a bit of a nightmare, but sure, that, that'll work well enough. For the time being right so with that done we can now start building soldiers which is absolutely marvelous we can also build another uh ooh, where is the attack happening uh down here and you can see we've got quite a significant range at this point uh we could even put down a second uh yes yeah, well rather a third there we are and these will all be our well actually i'll make this our group zero so oh, no, group eight i guess then um, it's a little bit easier that way. And we're just going to want lots and lots of soldiers made. All right, yes. we've got attacks coming in. So let's please wipe them out before they cause me too much issue. There we are. And let's get that one repaired as well. That one was almost gone. So good that we noticed that. It took me a little bit longer than I would have uh, would have liked. I don't feel entirely secure based on how long that took me to notice. But oh well, it is what it is. And there we go, get a couple more of these in place. What do we lack now? We lack food once again. Okay, well that's fine. We've got more than enough meadow area that I can plonk down a couple more and just squeeze out that last little bit of food from these locations. Okay, right. We've got our groups in position. And as soon as that one's done, we're going to start training uh, soldiers. I am going to have a decent amount of these. Uh, we will send out some with the main group. Uh, until we've got a veteran, we're not going to send them back to defend that location. But overall, I'm fairly happy. I am going to keep this wall, by the way. I don't tend to pull walls down once I've built them. In fact, I'm going to uh, increase it even more. Just because it's a good, good place to return to. Honestly, though, if we lost this little area, <laughs> we've already lost the game. Um, that is, that would, that would create such a massive swarm of zombies out of the uh, the uh, perished humans that we would not be able to recover. Uh, I don't think we'd be get, getting back from that, but I will add that one in there just to try and isolate things. You never know. You never know. You you shouldn't you shouldn't plan for defeat, um, but certainly being aware of the ways you could lose uh, can come in handy in setting up your defenses. Right. Okay. Let's get these guys out. We are going to send a couple of them out with our main uh, attack force, just so that we've got uh, some soldiers leveling up. Now they are going to make this this group. A little bit more noisy. And by a little bit, I mean a lot, realistically. Uh, where are they coming from? Right there. Okay. So they're continuing to be annoying there. All right. There we go. Let's just punch through that. We do need some defenders over here. Reasonably soon. But we'll see. Uh, let's get some more soldiers on the go. The next group of soldiers will be going to the, the, the defenses. Despite not being veterans, then I'll swap them out with veterans in time. Let's go. Now, again, the objective here is get a colony population of 400 and then destroy the Doom Villages. There's, there's no particular, you've got to survive the swarms. Infected. I don't even know if there are going to be swarms this time. We'll have to see. But Just there are a lot do. of zombies being attracted by the incredibly loud guns that our soldiers are using. That there is going to be a huge problem because it's basically never going to stop that spooning out zombies. Uh, well, it, you will eventually run them through their, their entire right. population, but it'll take your time, um, which will be a bit of a problem. Now, you to are going to be able to tank a good many hits. That's what the uh, very heavy army you have is particularly useful what? for. In sure? fact, you may well get your veterancy reasonably quickly. 
Uh, let's have a look. Nah, you're all kind of leveling at more or less the same speed. Just because there's so many of you. Now, the soldiers, I believe, have a shorter range as well as a louder weapon. But that does make them good for static defenses in, in certain ways. Um, they don't lose out at the very All least the um, for having being at the static defenses. Uh, they will be able to cover Order, most of what they, they need to do from that wall. Whereas your archers will, can start attacking the enemies from further afield. Yeah, it's a little bit of uh, a little bit of six of one and half a dozen of the other, really, on which one would be the best one to use. All right, let's get you all down there, please. There we go. Now they are still drawing um, zombies from the Doom Towns, which is interesting. Right, you go and sit. Yeah, we'll get two in there. Just to make up for the fact that it's not any veteran units. You notice easy. they're running towards areas where sound was, which is interesting. I'm not sure if that Let's is a go. mechanic or just a coincidence, but uh, it's certainly worth paying attention to. Right, let's uh, repair everything. We need a lot more food. Since you don't need food for your, your archers, you, need you just need food for the soldiers. Come on. Carrying around all of that heavy armor eh, gives you a bit of a hunger. Uh, we need a lot more food for that as well. Uh, okay. Well, we're getting there with uh, our overall uh, progress towards the large population we need. Still plenty of room for improvement. We are going to have to expand out further outside. Right Isn't exactly amazing, I'll be honest. Um, you know what? We can push our Tesla network down here and probably get a little bit more. Order, More food sir. in amongst all of that. There we go. They're coming down from the Dune Town over there, so that isn't too much of a problem. Understood. But yeah, this is going to be a bit of a, a nightmare for us to progress through. Ready uh, how are we doing? Oh, we're over a quarter of the way That's towards healthy. our first veteran soldier. That is actually very good news. One veteran soldier will be able to replace the two that we've got currently man manning the defenses down there. Easily, because they'll have twice as much uh, uh, attack build. rate, so, you know, Attention. it won't complete. be as if we've lost anyone. In fact, we At will have gained, service. because whilst they Perfect. will be attacking twice as often, thus the equivalent of two soldiers, they will also be doing more damage with this attack. So, the more way. than two soldiers. Very, very good. Straight really to the heart. Right. I'm going to try and kill off this little isolated area first. Interesting, though, trying to that we've got through. two... Oh, that would that one enter the dead end. Okay. Just tell me what to do. Oh, well, that's quite cool. Can we get up there and grab whatever this is? We can. All right. Cool. Twenty food. I approve. Let's uh, wipe everything up, please. There we go. Our defenses are being attacked. Where? Are you able to deal with that problem, or is that going to be a bit of an issue? It's looking like it's going to be a bit of an issue, actually. Uh, no, you didn't wipe them out in the end, but it took you a while. Okay, let's get some more soldiers to uh, help out down there then. Any orders? Uh, what else have we got here? Oh, the uh, nothing there. That isn't actually something that I can pick up. That's very right. Let's go. But this looks like it's a fairly small Doom Town. Uh, does it tell me anything about how many are in there? They do eventually run is out of population okay? inside, but the moment you poke them, you should see a lot coming out. Understood. Or at least that's the way it works in the uh, single player campaign. Uh, sorry, the single player sandbox, I mean. I'm not sure why I highlighted single player, because the game doesn't actually have multiplayer. Which is quite a shame, honestly. Uh, right, we've got a couple over there. Good, you can go down there and hold that position. You can go and hold and this one, since it's a little bit more in the middle. There we are. And finally, you can go and join them there. Okay. Well, this looks like we're doing a decent job. I like it. Well done. We might be able to get through this. Looks a little bit easier than it was last time. Uh, actually, no, we haven't poked the Doom Town itself. Mm. The moment we do that, it's going to cause some issues. Oh, there we go. We are actually starting to uh, poke it. Will it heal? It will continually spawn enemies for as long as we're attacking it, though. Uh, okay, that's quite the horde. So let's draw back a little bit. Come on. Let the runners break away that's from the rest of the pack so we can eliminate them. And then the uh, the rest of you can move in and kill the stragglers. As long as they, they're spawning slow zombies, that's not too much of an issue for us, frankly. And especially once we get some leveled up uh, soldiers, this will be a lot easier for us to break through. I am not too displeased with the progress we've made there. Does this heal is the question. 
If it doesn't heal, then it's a war of attrition and we will win. If it does, then it could be a bit of a problem for us overall. Okay, well, let's continue building out our population back here anyway. And I think that's all the food. No, 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 it's energy that we need fairly well. Uh, let's pop down a windmill. Um, sure, we can slot one in there. That shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, that'll actually work out well. And maybe another one over here as well. Just to uh, preempt that. I'm so sorry. My cold is still... In full swing, uh, so uh, you're going to have to bear with me when I'm, I'm sounding a little bit nasally and snuffily. Right, okay. Orders. Calm yourselves, but you are wrecking that. Oh my lord, well done you. I am deeply, deeply approving Perfect. of just how well you destroyed that there. Uh, draw back, though, and kill everything before someone dies, because I won't approve of that, not even slightly. There will be a, a resounding Easy. level of disapproval, that in fact, if you let any of the people that I've been carefully building up the veterancy on die. My bow there we is go. Let's ready. have a look at you. Uh, you're halfway Tell towards veterancy. Uh, it's still going slowly, actually. Tell Not nearly me. as fast as I would have liked. Not nearly as fast on that one. Let's keep pushing forward. We need lots more food. Lots more, more housing. There we go. Uh, we'll pop Ooh. these down around here. And then we're out of food again. Okay. Well, we're getting Order, close. Sir. Once we can upgrade our houses uh, to the medium cottages, then we'll be able to hit those larger population requirements a lot faster. Uh, with a lot a lot smaller um, footprint on, uh, on the base size. Attention. Can we get all of you to grab that? I wonder. I'm not sure. Uh, please and thank you. There we Let's go. go. Yep. Okay. Let me put Kill everything. In his head. There we go. We've got copper over there by the looks of it. Now, I don't think we've got access to copper. Commander? Uh, or rather, that we need Come copper on. for anything yet. But I'm very happy that we managed to wipe out those two doom cities. That would have taken a lot longer, I fancy, in uh, the sandbox mode. That would have been a much, much bigger problem for us. Mind you, some of them can have ridiculous health, like 1,500, so perhaps it was just because those were small Doom Cities. Let's have a look at these. 400, 1,500, yeah, they are going to be a little bit more tricky for various reasons uh, that we're going to have to deal with in time. But for the time being, things are looking reasonably good back at base, and I'm fairly certain that once we just fill out those last do. two homes there, that we will actually meet our requirements uh, well, actually, no, it's 400. We've only got 300. So we are going to need to come up here and isolate this little area for all of the food that it can provide. Uh, that shouldn't that be too bad, be though. Now let's push back on through. There we go. Is everything all the way okay? up if we can. Now we've got some uh, additional materials that we can collect as well. I'm fairly certain that when you collect food crates, it just adds to, to your overall. So it, it's the equivalent of having to build a food gathering building. Because the resources here aren't really being gathered, it's just the potential that exists. Let's grab that one as well. Just clean up everything down here. It looks like we have actually liberated this little this little glade. This is going to be a great place for us to come up here and get the food that we're going to need to reach the, uh, the population goal. Okay, not bad. And we'll also be able to train significantly more soldiers as a direct result of that as well, which will be pretty cool. Uh, okay, so with that done, have we got any veteran soldiers yet? No, probably going to be a little while before we hit that. That being said, we could start wiping out this Doom City. Uh, I'm not entirely sold on that idea just yet. I feel that that might be, uh, might be a little bit more than I should uh, try to bite off in one go. As it may result in our city being attacked soon after. That is definitely not something I want to see. Not yet, anyway. The walls are under uh, attack. Can we do that? No, we can't. Where are our defenses being attacked? Okay, that's actually a reasonable amount of them. A little bit of a concern. A little bit of a concern, I'm not going to lie. Uh, they should be wiped out fairly soon. Okay, is right, let's get okay? you down here. Once All we've right. got you in position, we can start uh, isolating let's this go. area completely. And I Take should attack... I know I should attack them. There we go. We can just have them patrol, or maybe even just poke the cities a little bit here and there, but generally speaking, I want All them right. mostly just to hold this area for the time being. 
and just not let anything from the top down. Let's go. There we go. The train has arrived at the station. That will do. We are still seeing some enemies creeping through. Uh, so I am going to peel off a few units down here. Uh, what do you a want couple now? more. There we go. That'll do. And you can At be my group service. one. You can be my group two. And you can just hold that little area. Ready and right. This group will be able to allow us to expand out. Now, how do I want to do that? I think just having a wall down here would be the probably the best option for us. Let's uh, repair all of our walls as well while we're doing it. Right there. And possibly another one up top as well. Just pushing us in this direction. We are going to... It's going to take me a little while to build out in that direction. Uh, so it's gonna, I'm going to be working on that for a bit. But I will bring you back when we're in a better position to attack the Doom Cities. Okay, we have finished building up all our food in this little beautiful glade there. We've got a decent amount of food just sat there now. And we are building lots of housing. Uh, this should actually push us over the 400 that we need, so I'm not going to push it too much further, I don't think, I say, as I begin to push it further. Uh, don't don't ask me how I, my brain works. I'm not sure it does, actually. I, I don't think there's anyone who could prove that my brain is actually working. Uh, nevertheless, we've got plenty of soldiers around there. Uh, I'm actually going to drop one off there as well, just to uh, top that. We are making more soldiers pretty much as fast as I can, which isn't that fast because we can't store an awful lot of gold at any particular time, um, which does cause me some issues. Uh, we could make a load more uh, archers as well, I suppose, and, and as these fill out, then our gold income will increase. But our command center really can't store that much, uh, I don't think. Um, how much can we store? We, we, can, we can store 600, so uh, a, a few soldiers at a time can be uh, can be assigned, which is not too bad, but we do want more and more and more. But with this, I think we are probably in a position where we can start uh, considering a, a, a significant push. Now, one thing I could do is I could have additional um, protection around here. I could, for example, build out and just have some towers here just to help out that little bit more. And I'll show you what I mean by that. If we can extend out our Tesla coverage, uh, I, I kind of want it to be isolated though, and this isn't for duty. isolation really. But uh, we could pop in a Tesla tower there, for example. Now the Tesla towers, from what I understand, are only required to build the things. They're not actually required right. to keep the things running, which is an important um, bit of information to note. But you could put a, a Tesla tower and a tower and then a, a gate around here, and then just a little wall, and you create a, an isolated little, uh, little uh, defense post, Waiting on which orders. is what I was thinking of doing over here, and I might continue to do as we push forward. We'll see about that one, because me? it would help a little bit. Let's get Commander? moving in as well. We've now got a lot Tell of me. soldiers in this little group here. That okay, nine soldiers in total, I think, is right. enough for us to do some damage, I would say. Order, uh, let's sir. try and focus on one side at a time, though, if we can. Let's focus on the zombies that exist, and then once we have uh, isolated those, you can start work on the towns themselves. With a couple of soldiers in the background just to deal with the uh, the larger groups that are rushing forward. Let's get more soldiers on the go. There we are. That'll, that'll do quite nicely. So, uh, that is an awful lot of infected there. And they are making props. Okay, Understood. draw back, draw back, draw back. That is a lot of infected all, all in the right. same place. Right, now start Where pushing forward again. Leading the charge with the uh, the soldiers there because their army is going to be able to weather the greatest amount of damage without the soldier dying. Especially when it takes them a little while to recover after taking a few blows and after having shot a few times before they start pressing forward again. Now, um, the big chunk of the units coming through from the, the Doom Cities are slow ones. Oh, that's going to be a problem for me. It's going to split my forces. Uh, granted, it didn't splat my forces, which would have been a bigger problem for me. So, you know, we have to be thankful Understood. for the small mercies that we can find here and there. Uh, right. We could, in fact, go ahead and pop that down just as a uh, bit of a barrier to further uh, approach. But ultimately, I want to press my energy 
forward. The train is going to be a constant pain in my bum. I'm going to be honest. It's going to be constantly an issue in me trying to get out there and have an isolated little area. Uh, let's get you guys down here, please. You can just go ahead and charge up there. Uh, same with pretty much all of you. Uh, you're all now group one. Let's get... Honestly, I'm going to get some archers at this point. Let's uh, increase our okay? group of archers significantly. But th at this point, we're not caring about the amount amazing. of noise we're making. We just want to do raw damage. And soldiers are the better option for that. The archers have got a greater range. They've also got a greater vision range, I'm fairly certain. But the soldiers really are the, 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 the front-line troops. Uh, so we should be able to start making some decent progress here. I want to work through this side first, if we can. Just focusing one side at a time where we are able to. Uh, you can go ahead and join group one. Go ahead. And with that, we've already got this in position now. Uh, have we got much problems down there? Uh, nothing that we can't handle. Uh, in fact, how about you go down there? Because we are getting a reasonable amount of attacks from that side. We'll get you two to just go and uh, bolster that defense there. Could you get off the tracks, please? There you go. Don't play on the tracks, people. It is super, super dumb. Right, can we get some more archers and a couple of soldiers being made as well? There's really no reason for you not to have units being pumped out constantly. Once you've got the the uh, gold income for it, you may as well be constantly training the units. Uh, that said, we've got a couple over there, so let's get you to go and join us. There we are. Now, as I said, they will eventually run out of of, of people in them. This dwelling was a fun meeting point a long time ago. My now it's an infected nest. Uh, this dwelling was infected a long time ago. Indeed it was. But uh, we can just kind of weather this or we can just try and uh, duck back and forth, make strategic strikes because the the greatest amount of them that will be spawned is when you actually start doing damage to a building it seems. Though the fact that I'm making so much noise is probably not helping me. I'll be honest with you. Uh, there we are. You can help out as divided. well. Let's get over there. Thank My you. If I can ready. get My a tower down ready. here, I would be pretty pleased with the result. The problem being is that there are too many enemies nearby. There we go. That'll help. Now, the tower itself is defended. You put, pop people up there, they've got extra My line of defense. So we're probably just going to dump a load of soldiers in there and have them focus on taking everything out. They also get a little bit of a vision and attack range boost, which will come in handy. And we're just going to basically do turret creep uh, forward from this My point. Uh, I could put one over there if I really want to. And I guess I do, sure. Uh, let's get everyone down here that we can, please and thank you. There we are, and you can just press forward. There we go. I could also put the archers in there because they would have a uh, generally a greater range. Uh, it looks like we're about to finish that one off. But there we go. And I believe you can have four people in a tower at a time. Let's get four people. There we go. Right. Everyone else, you're now group one. And you could press forward, grab that wood for me. Thank you. And then continue working through on this side. There we go. These ones seem to have just... They, they've used up their population. They've sent out everyone they can send out. There's no one left now to, to resist our creep forward. We'll pop down another for duty. Now, ooh, that's gold. I like it. Commander. I like it a lot, actually. Let's go ahead. Oh, finally, we've got a soldier who's gained veterancy. It's taken us so long. So very, very long. My lord. Uh, as soon as that's ready, we'll pop a soldier down there as well. There we go. Now, this group of soldiers, honestly... Not actually necessary. So we'll get you guys out and I'll Other pop a bunch of uh, archers in there instead because okay. they do have a better Let's range, ultimately. Any orders? Uh, so as Come we on. push the line forward, it will make more sense to have a longer range unit uh, in there. But I Let's want go. to isolate my veteran soldiers as they're going to be two of the ones that are going to go right. into over here. So let's Tell get me. you down there as well. And that you. And there you go. Let's get you in. You probably will be able to take out Order, that Doom Town Come on. Uh, from there. Honestly, at this head. stage, I fancy we, we've won simply because, again, war of attrition and we weathered the attrition better. They've run out of units that they can deploy at this stage. You notice, though, that my uh, veteran soldier there can reach before the ones at the back can now that could be just down to to uh, their position in the tower but as we saw with the veteran archers they do seem to get a, a range boost as well so that's actually not too bad 
Uh, do, do we really need this now? No, not anymore. We can just apply everyone. It'll be fine. Let's just get out there and annihilate everything. There we go. And also grab all of the things while we're going. And go ahead and make plenty of units. There we go. All right. Colony population 400. Destroy all villages of doom. Base score 100 because we're playing on default difficulty. Or rather challenging difficulty. To, to make me feel better about myself. Uh, what on earth was that tip? I have no idea. Ooh. Now. This is interesting. These appear to be blocked. Right. Now, this is an infected swarm with 1,000 infected and an infected swarm with 1,000 infected. I had noticed that down here we have Empire Points. Empire Points allow you to hire units and defences of the Empire's army to attack infected swarms that block roads to new uh, to access to new missions. So we can't go to the Coast of Bones or to the Narrow Pass because we've got large infected groups there. Okay. This is a swarm of 1,000 infected in the middle of the road. To clear the road and continue expanding the colonies along this route, you must first destroy the swarm with the army of the Empire. Uh, it'll cost us... The infected colonists, infected fresh, his body was infected recently, so he's quite strong and fast. Infected fresh, her body was infected recently, and infected colonists. Okay, so this is the amount of enemies there. We'll get no research points, but we'll, we'll get... Empire points. I guess when we start the game, we would use those points to be able to buy it. But we've also got Alpha Communications Center down here for 250 research points. All we know about the Alpha Fortress is that it was a sophisticated satellite communication center, judging from the radio antennas that rise above the forest. Inside it, there must be for sure a lot of technology and even valuable relics from the pre infection era. Uh, okay, the hero must escape. All right, we might actually start the next mission off with one of those. But before we go anyway, let's have a look at what we can research. We could do a few things. We could get hunting weapons and increase the amount of food we're generating, military training. We could even get uh, more energy from our mills or increase our fisherman cottage food supply. Now, if we don't have water, that's not going to help. But really... I think for us, at the moment, it's saving up for the expert workshop. So we're probably going to go ahead... Oh, again, I've done that twice now. We're probably going to go ahead and hit this mission next. But we've got a new newspaper article, it seems. Oh, no, we don't. It's still the same newspaper article. I'm going to have to remember to check those then. But that's going to be the end of this episode, or possibly episodes, as that one did take me a little while to record. I do hope you're enjoying the series, though. And let me know down below if you'd be interested in seeing a continuation of They Are Billions on the channel. But that's going to be it from me. So until next time, and as always, do take care, everyone.